Peter Baudry here at Test Park, Southampton Solent University sports facility, as behind me the Solent Redhawks are currently in a training session. And we've come along to talk to some players and coaches on how the growth of the sport in the United Kingdom has affected the team. The Solent Redhawks held open training sessions last week during recruitment week to allow first years and some second and third years the chance to work their way into the first team. I'm here with uh, safety John Holloway. Now, John, how crucial would you say that recruitment days are? Of course, having uh, last week having a couple of recruitment days, how crucial are they for the Red Hawks? It's the biggest part of the year for us, um, outside of game one, obviously, because um, it's the first time that a lot of the guys will have ever ever played the sport. Um, for some of them, it, they'll have never even seen it on TV. So it's, it's their first time to try it out for us. With the numbers of people in the UK playing American football increasing over the past few years, we asked John whether he expects the number of British players in the NFL to increase in the near future. There are a couple at the moment. Um, it, it's a big, big step up. Um, I mean, there was a guy who's played a few games in, for the London, one of the London teams. Um, is now with the Dallas Cowboys on their practice squad. So it's increasing, but it's, it's a huge step up. Um, but it would be great to see... To see has the increase of participation levels in a sport in general been reflected in your uni team? Yeah, the, um, the numbers we've had, I mean this is my third season, um, and the numbers we've had have just grown each year. Um, so the sign-ups we've had at Freshers' Fair, um, we had 257 players sign up this year. We had the most we've ever had at trials, and um, we had 90 over the whole course of the weekend. Another factor helping the popularity of American football grow in the UK is the fact that our very own venue, Wembley Stadium, does hold quite a few encounters, including this Sunday as the Jets take on the Dolphins live at Wembley. New York Jets quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick spoke before the game about whether he can see a franchise being formed in the UK in the future. Uh, you know, I think it's, it's going to happen. I, I don't think it's going to happen in the next few years, obviously, but... Uh, I think it's something that will eventually happen because um, of how successful these games have been over here um, and, and the interest level and all that. And so uh, there's a lot of hurdles that they're going to have to overcome, but um, I, I think eventually there, there will be a franchise. Currently in the UK, 3,700 adults are involved in competitive America football, with 1,000 more under-19 players, part of 40,000 adults now playing nationwide. That's an increase of 20,000 since 2011. Furthermore, there are 4,000 people playing and coaching American football at university level, with everyone having their own reasons for taking the sport up. Uh, well, I found out about it from my brother, actually, um, who's uh, one of the coaches this year, and um, he said it was such a great team. And I saw it at the Freshers' Fair, they were probably the loudest, loudest stand and um, grabbed people in and signed me up and I thought why not. And so uh, what are your hopes for the upcoming season for the Red Hawk? Yeah, we hope to get uh, promoted this year or win the, win the league is the first thing um, but then from that go into the playoffs and get promoted to the Premiership and, and then next season win that obviously. But. From Test Park this has been Peter Baudry, Solent Sport.